Okay? So there are a lot of applications in this area, for example, the purchasing of food items and also healthcare products, living products and so on. And the idea would be to attach those devices into each and every box and you have information inside, so when it, you, you get it in the supermarket, you can just read the information and you know what is the profile of the product, including, including coverage. Alright. So, in order to do that, you have to know that these chips, they don't have any battery inside. So they have to harvest energy. For example, they can harvest energy from an RF source. You have an RF signal in the air, okay? And basically you have a small antenna inside the chip, and it's gonna basically acquire that signal and try to uh, basically convert it into a DC signal, like the battery signal, and power itself. So usually this kind of system cannot give you power in a more than microwave, very little, maybe one microwave maximum. So it means your sensor has to operate at extremely low power, very, very low power. You have to operate in even nanowatt area in order to be able to do that. So one of the challenges was actually to design a temperature sensor that is very low power, extremely low power. So uh, in order to do that, actually, in my group, we come up with a very nice idea. And it turns out to be a very interesting idea. We have actually a US paper for this and we published this extensively. And the idea was actually to use a very simple device, which is what you call an inverter in electronics. And actually, if you look at the DNA of the inverter, you can express it as functional coverage. It's not as easy as that. Uh, basically, we have done a lot of mathematical modeling of this, and we come up with the temperature dependency between the delay of the inverter, basically the delay of the inverter and temperature, and we know that there are two parameters that depend on temperature, but have the mobility of the, uh, the transistor and also visual voltage of the transistor. If you are smart about how you do the inverter, then you can have basically a very different error about with respect to the delay assumption of temperature. And we have the mathematical model, we have uh, done this, and we build the sensor based on this, and we, we have shown that error can be less than plus minus 0.5 degrees C. And the interesting idea is that this is a very simple device, it can cost you very little power. So actually based on this, we come up with the same thing. It's not just as easy as an inverter, actually you have to do some uh, smart things, because actually if you look at the inverter, when you change the supply, uh, basically your delay is going to change as well. So not only temperature will we change with the delay, the delay not only will change with temperature, but it's also going to change with respect to your supply voltage. So you have to come up with a, with a, a scheme where you can actually sense the voltage variation and inject this into your circuit so it becomes independent of the supply voltage. Because supply voltage here is, is your, your battery basically. And since we are harvesting from, from the environment, the signal is not very, uh, very stable. It's going to fluctuate all the time. So if your delay is going to fluctuate all the time, you get a very bad sensor. So the idea was to build uh, basically supply voltage sensor, inject this data into our sensor, and make it independent on the supply. I know most of you are not in electronics, so it's a very difficult task for me to try to simplify those terms. I will try to do my best. All right. So based on that idea, we, we built the uh, temperature sensor, and, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the results. I don't want to go into the details of this. So this is actually how we integrate the temperature.